Hello creators, in this video I'm going to show you all the amazing new features that come with our new canvas system at My Designs. So let's jump right in. The first thing we want to do is select all of the files that we want to work with inside of our canvas system. We can do that by going to this button here, clicking it, and then clicking select all. You'll notice now they have a blue check mark by them and you can deselect them by in individually if you'd like in that way, but we're going to be working with all six of these. So next we'll just go over to our canvas system, which is here. We'll click that and this new window pops up. Um, I'm going to go through each one of these individually and what they do. But first of all, I want to show you how to add your listing files. You can do that by clicking this button here. It says add listing file. And then you select the uh, file slot that your image is in that you want to add to the canvas, which is going to in this um, for this example is going to be main file. And then we just go ahead and click add. So now you'll see that added here, but it's way bigger than our canvas actually is. So we can transform it by clicking on it and then clicking the transform button here. And now it transformed to the canvas size. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is that you'll notice down here that these listings aren't populated or showing anything. So if we wanted to, we could come and just click add listing file again, but that's a slower way to do it. It's much quicker to just go back here, click on the image, right click it, and then click sync. So now you'll see when we click sync, it applies all of the actions that we've done to this one to every single one that we're working on. So if I go through all of these, you'll now see that they're perfectly set up um, in the exact same way that this one is. Um, the next thing I want to cover is templates. Every single product that is available through my designs or our print partners has a template here that you can select. So for instance, if I wanted to sell a ceramic ornament, I could just click this here and now you'll see I can adjust my file to wherever I want. Um, I think about right there looks pretty good. And then once again, I can just click sync and this will apply to every single one of them. But you'll notice this is kind of a smaller design than these other ones. They're a little bit bigger. So um, these ones are outside of the bleed area, as you can see. So a way to fix that would be one to just individually adjust each one, or you could come to just one of them, make it a bit smaller, adjust it how you'd like, and then right click and sync again. You'll see it made every one of them smaller, but still, the, you know, there's going to be a couple of them. If they're not the exact same size, you're going to have to adjust them slightly. Um, so you can go and adjust each one of them individually. Uh, you can also align them um, center like this or off to the sides in whatever way you want. Um, I'm going to do it um, in the center and then just move it like that. And I'll do this for all of them just to make sure that they're all set up in the right way. And that looks great. So just like that, that's how easy it is in our new canvas system to create print ready files to be sold for ornaments. Um, if I, if I liked all these exactly as is, I can just go ahead and click either download and to download them to my PC. Um, or I can click save and I can actually click or find an empty file slot to save these into. So you'll see I named one of my file slots ornament print file. So I can just click that, click the format, which I'm going to do a PNG because I want it to be PNG because the background is going to be transparent if it is, or we could do SVG. Um, in order to do an SVG, your base file, I believe has to be an SVG as well. Um, and then if we want, we could save it as editable, but this doesn't have any text that's editable. That's more for personalized um, listings that you're selling. So once we have everything set up like that, we can just go ahead and click save. And then that will take just a moment and it will populate into these empty file slots that I named ornament print file. Um, now that that's done, I'll go ahead and show you for all of these listings, just like that, that's our ornament print file, perfectly ready to be sold. Next, I'm gonna go into the Canvas system so that I can go over the additional features that I haven't covered yet. So I actually deleted a couple listings here just so that we can work with less, um, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Um, so we wanna go back into the Canvas here. We already covered templates a bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select the Bella 3001 template um, so that we can use this as an example. Um, next, I want to go over text. We have the entire Google font library available for you to use. Um, and we're in the near future, we're adding the ability for you to actually add your own custom fonts as well. 
So we have a couple options here. You'll see you can adjust the size of these by dragging like that, or you can adjust it over here on the side. You can adjust alignment. You can adjust the font type if you'd like here. Um, you can adjust the color down at the bottom. Um, and you can actually change gradients or add gradients to the text as well. As you can see, there's two gradient points on this one. If we wanted to add additional points, we can just click or we can double click to remove them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually delete this one and maybe we'll select this text to use as an example. Um, and then we'll jump over to uploads. This is pretty self-explanatory, but it essentially allows you to upload your own images to use in the Canvas system. Um, and then we've got elements. Uh, we have a huge library of uh, elements that are available to My Designs users, and all of our elements are SVG files. So what that means is they scale infinitely. And for example, like this, every one of these elements are their own element essentially. So we can change the color of these individually on all of these SVGs that are available in our elements library. Um, next, we've got photos. And as you can see, this is powered by Pixabay. Um, you can use these for any of your designs that you'd like as well. Um, and then we've got shapes and we're going to continue to expand and add to these libraries. Um, and then the, the next is my favorite part. It's our dream AI that we've now built directly into our canvas system. So we can dream up images that we'd like to use and sell on products right here and then create the print ready file uh, easily. And I'm actually going to show you an example of how to do this for personalized files, which is why I'm only or down to two. You can use do it for up to 120 at a time, I believe, if you're a Pro Plus member. Um, but it's a little more time consuming to do personalized files, which is why I'm just going to use two as an example. So the first thing I want to do is click this text and then click sync because I want it on both of my listings. Um, next, I'm just going to select a dog. You know, so I like this one. I think this one looks really good. Maybe make it a bit larger, um, move the text up a bit. And you might be thinking, how am I going to sell that? Um, it has a background on it. It doesn't look good. But we've actually built into my designs the ability for you to remove background. So if I click on the image and then I click effects over here, I can click remove background. And you'll see, you know, it takes typically five to 10 seconds and it usually does a really good job. So now you can see that looks fantastic. It's ready to go. Um, so I'll just make it a little bit bigger and then maybe we'll center it, make sure our text is centered. Um, and then this type of file would be a personalized file in the sense that someone might buy this that has a mini golden doodle and then they want the name of their golden doodle at the top, right? So my golden doodle's name is Maya. So if I was to add that, that's how I spell it. Um, it doesn't look good with the orange text. so. You know, I might click this and change the color to an element on the dog. I think that looks quite a bit better. Um, and then maybe I add a stroke effect or something like that. Um, you can also change, you know, opacity if you'd like to, um, the rotation. You can add a shadow effect. There's quite a few things you can do. Um, but I like it as is. And now I'm going to right click and do sync on that again. Uh, it looks like it's just updating the um, alignment of it, not the actual color. So I'm going to. I'll actually change the color on this one, but I'm going to select a different dog breed to use for this one. Um, I know there's a lot of Chihuahua fans out there, so maybe we'll use something like this. Um, and then once again, we'll go to effects and click remove background. Once that's done, we'll make the text again match the dog a little bit better. Uh, let's make it a bit larger. We'll center it, make sure our text is centered, and then we'll change the color once again, uh, maybe to something like the blue, like the sunglasses and then add a stroke effect. So just like that, I've now created two print ready files to be personalized and sold. Um, and I'll explain a little more on how to do that. But the next step right here would be to go click save. And this part is very important. If you want a file to be say to ex excuse me, if you want a listing to be a personalized listing and that file to be personalized, you have to click this save as editable right here. I mean, we do want it as a PNG as we want the transparent background. I'm going to change the output file slot to be my dolly print file um, as that's what we're doing this on. Or we could do it as our Bella 3001 print file. Um, and then we just click save. And that will take just a moment. Once it's done, I'll show you guys what it looks like here. 
Now that it's done, you'll see here where my mouse is on each of these listings. And if I actually double click it, you can see them. That is the file ready to go, but you'll see the little um, paint icon in the top left corner of this file slot. That means that this is an editable file. So if you were to receive an order through my designs um, and the customer gave you instructions to change the name on this, it would be under your orders tab, but you could essentially click this button right under, or excuse me, above the image. And then you can come in here and just change the text. So that one says Arcland, obviously a dog's not gonna be named that, but let's say this dog's name was Tommy. So we would just come in um, change the name to Tommy and then we would submit this print file as is to our print partner and then it's ready to go and that's how easy it is to sell a personalized file through my designs. The last thing that I'd like to show you inside of our canvas system is how to um, create a mug print file but also how to do masking. So right now the only way you can do masking is by going to photos and then you, we have masks here next to photos. So these are our only elements that you can mask at the moment, but eventually we're adding the ability for you to mask pretty much anything. So you could mask these shapes or um, different types of elements, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. So first we have to select one of these masks that we would like. Um, maybe this triangle will make it a bit larger. Um, and then we can go over to photos and we can take any of these photos. Um, maybe we'll use this flower. Um, when we add this flower to our canvas here, what we do is just drag and drop it onto that and you'll see it auto masks it and we can change the size of it. Um, we can also double click in to adjust what is actually showing in the mask. Um, that's not the best example with a, a triangle and a flower, but it works the exact same way for any of these elements that you'd like to use. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you for in this video is how to create a mug print file, which um, is very easy. Uh, you just go back to templates and then you select um, one of the mug templates and then we can add additional elements here. Maybe we go back to Dream AI and we select the same dog that we used and then we'll go ahead and remove the background on it again. And now that the background's removed, um, we can adjust this how we'd like, and we're gonna have to zoom out a bit. So on a mug, I typically like to do um, two sides because this is one side of the mug, this is the middle of it here, and then the other side. So we can actually copy and paste this exact same element by doing Control C and Control V, um, and then we can move it over to adjust it so that it's exactly lined up like the other one which is about right there. Um, and then just like that, we have a mug print file ready to go. Once it's done like this, all we have to do once again is just click save. Um, if, if we wanted it to be personalized, we could add some text above or below it. Um, and the save is editable, but we're not gonna do that for this example. Um, and then we just click save. So just like that, you now have a mug print file ready, an ornament print file ready, and a Bella 3001 print file ready. So I hope you guys can all see how powerful this new Canvas system is. I hope you guys can use it and give us some feedback, but that's it for this video. Uh, please like and comment um, on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future My Designs content.